Hey guys, it's Zach here with Minimal Escapes, and today I want to take you guys along with me and show you how I created this forest ecosystem behind me. So let's get into it. So the first thing I want to do with this tank is just clean it out, which is going to involve getting all of the babies out and getting all of the plants out as well as the hardscape. You can see it's overrun with moss. This was meant to come. As for all the plants, I'm going to put them in my buckets. And then all the babies are actually big enough now that they can go down here into my Gruppy Creek tank. They're big enough that they shouldn't be eaten by any of the adults, so let me move those over and get this cleaned out. So now the tank is completely cleaned out, and the first thing I want to do is get in the substrate layer. Now, because this is going to be a shrimp tank, and I'm going to try and breed some shrimp in here, I'm going to use the substrate that I found to be the most reliable when keeping shrimp and one that I find helps increase the breeding of the shrimp and that's just going to be some aqua soil. So let's get that in. Now with a nice substrate layer in, I want to do mention as well that all of this aqua soil has already been pre-cycled. So it's all come out of old tanks and I've just kept it sort of wet for the time being just in a closed container so it does keep its water so the beneficial bacteria on it should still be kicking. It's obviously not going to be able to take a huge bio load right away but that's perfectly fine because it's not going to have a big bio load anyways, just some shrimp. So with the substrate down, I can move on to the hardscape. So for the hardscape, I'm going to be using pieces of chalo wood, which has lots of surface area for algae and other things to start to build up. So the shrimp have lots of grazing surfaces, as well as some cereu stone, which I've found also builds up algae as well as leaches off some calcium into the water to help build up the shells of shrimp. So. Let's get some hardscape in, see what we can make. As you guys can see, I tried th three different hardscapes, and I didn't hate any of them particularly, but I didn't love any of them particularly. So this really helped me to decide what I wanted to do with the final hardscape. It's important to pick a scape that you really enjoy for the longevity of the tank. So this is just the skeleton of the hardscape right now that I've decided to go with. As you guys saw, I tried to do kind of like a rootscape from this corner, and then I tried to do like sort of like a forest, and nothing really kind of felt right. And then I decided I wanted to try kind of like a centralized island, and I thought why not try and combine them both, kind of a centralized island along with a forest kind of explosion out. And I'm really happy with how this is looking. So I've just glued it, and now I just need to wait 10 or 15 just to let the glue dry that the scape has some rigidity to it and then I can add in more stones around the base. So I'll catch you guys in 15. So I'm back 15 minutes later and the glue is pretty much dry and I just want to add in a couple more series stones just kind of around this mid part here. This way it's just going to hide some of the more inconsistent pieces. Nothing too big really needs to go in here just some smaller rocks to hide this base work in here that I'm also going to hide later on with some plants but this just rounds out the look completely and I'm really happy with how it's come together and now I can move on to the planting piece as well as filling up this tank. Actually I forgot to mention this but before I fill it up I just want to mention that I'm not going to be adding in any detail stones around the foundation. So no chunks of cereal, you no know, smaller stuff. The smallest I'm going to go is probably like this one. It's about this big. The reason why is there's a couple reasons actually why I'm not going to add in any of the smaller detail stones. The first being that I think the details are actually just going to get lost because what I'm picturing for this tank is similar to this tank that's a jungle, especially since I'm going to be keeping shrimp in it. So those small details are gonna get lost when it is fully planted. The next reason is that all of this area, if I do put in the gravel, I'm not sure how well the plants are gonna do just breaking through it with the aqua soil. 
they probably would do fine, but I just want to keep as much area open again because I'm not going to put a filter on this tank. So I want to have as much room for planting as possible. So let's move on. Alright, so I just got back from the store and I've got the inhabitants for this tank. Super excited to show you guys. Let me get these guys acclimated and then I'll show you. So it's now the next morning after I put the fish in and they're doing great. They're pretty active for just being introduced, not even 24 hours ago, which I'm really happy about. I haven't fed them yet, but they look like they're hungry. They're kind of moving around looking for food, so that's really good. Really happy with that. And I really think that these fish complement the scape. I know that earlier I said I was going to make this into a shrimp breeding tank. However, when I went to the store, there were no shrimp. And I was like, well, it's kind of a waste. And then I saw the killifish as well as the grommies, and I thought they'd look really great together. A small little community tank. And I know that this tank is going to be able to take a little bit of a higher bio load to start because it was a pre-cycled tank. All of my media was already cycled. The plants all came out of old tanks. All the rocks came out of old tanks. The only thing that came out from not a tank and is in here now is the wood. You can see that there's some white fungus on there, but that's no big deal. They'll pick away at it. And also the shrimp in here are going to pick away at the white fungus in there. So I wasn't too concerned about that. And I really thought that the fish would look quite good in here. And I'm super happy with how it turned out. So that is everything for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.